Guys, what in the world? I am standing in the middle of a frozen tundra in Fairbanks, Alaska. About to go in and embrace the icy chill of death at this spirit Halloween in which I have no idea what it used to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even kidding, guys. I am legit in Fairbanks, Alaska, right across the street from Bentley Mall, if you don't believe me, it's right there. I took a 10 hour flight to get here from Ohio yesterday to this Spirit Halloween right here, which to my understanding is the only Spirit Halloween anywhere in Alaska, except for maybe one more place. I think there might be one in Anchorage. But look at this, this is just amazing to me. I just left Ohio, which was still slightly warm with falling leaves that were changing colors. And now we're in Alaska. Look at this, we have piles of snow over here from the snow plows. The ground is legit slippery ice. And yes, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> it is 25 degrees here. How absolutely insane is that. All right, my fingers feel like they're already getting frostbite, so let's go ahead and go in. Oh my gosh, it is seriously cold out here, guys. I do expect this to be just like any other spirit we've ever been to, guys, at least this season, but I'm also curious if they have anything that would be different here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Here we go right inside the door to greet us. I see Slim holding open his popcorn bag. Let's go ahead and get him going just real quick here before we do anything else. Hello, Slim. Where's your coat, sir? It is freezing up in this piece. You know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and take a walk around the store first before we even start looking at anything. I just want to kind of walk around through here and soak it in. Oh, speaking of death's icy embrace, look who we have behind me. All right, let's just keep walking for a minute here. I gotta let these fingers thaw out, man. They're like frozen hot dog sickles. Look at this, they have the Reaper set up, the inflatable Reaper here. They have the whole back ISC section here and they have the front but everything's kind of mix-matched. All right, I know I said we were gonna walk around the store first, but this is blowing me away. Let's go back up to the front and we'll start there. Okay, so yeah, in all the other stores, we always have Slim up front, but he's on the other side. So as we walk around here, guys, look at who else we have over here. We have Heckles. All right, let's just get him going for a second here. Come on now, Heckles. I'm starting my own carnival right here. You want to join my clown troop? You have a pretty funny face. You'd be a natural. <laughs> Gotta love heckles. All right, let's keep on moving here because, yeah, the next thing that I noticed as I walked through was this guy here. He is never up here in the front section. What the heck? Hello, Mr. Black Heart. Black Icy Heart from Alaska. All right, let's keep moving and see if we have gorgeous George over here. We don't, look, <laughs> we have the inflatable coffin over here. I don't know if that means they just sold out of gorgeous George. Oh my gosh, they have a spooky brick too. Holy crap, that's a real brick. That's not even fake. All right, let's check this out. I gotta love how there's one eye lit up in that inflatable coffin. That's one inflatable that I have not bought. All right, let's go on and see who they have in here. I see they do not have dagger mics set up here. What? Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> they actually have a stuffed dummy prop here set up like Michael Myers. Um, excuse me, sir, your hair is gonna catch on fire there. Do they even have Grimm's hand? Yes, here we go, we got Grimm's hand up here. Hello, sir. Okay, as if that wasn't strange enough, guys, come back here and see what I have to show you. This is why I love going to so many different stores. There's always different setups and everything. Look at how awkward this one is. First, we have the inflatable Reaper here. Then we have Papa Pins. I've never seen Papa Pins in the back of the store. What the heck did you do wrong, sir? It must have been something funny. We're gonna save the door for last because I'm curious if they have the spider back there or something else. But look at this. All right, we have our gargoyle and we have Leatherface back here. What the heck is he doing back here? <laughs> Oh, he actually looks pretty cool in there. Except for the fact that he's like sawing the wing. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, sir. He's sawing your wing. He's a lot louder in there, too. All right, then beside him, we have the straw man back here. And for once, he's actually in a place that he fits. It's night like this when the border between worlds grows thin. I've never seen a setup quite like this. All right, let's go around the other side here, guys, and see. There's lots of uh, animatronics on the floor for sale. Dang, I was kind of hoping that it continued on this side and they would have even more. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They have a Betty Sharp here. What the heck? Okay, hold on a second. She's got a yellow sign. 178.50, original 209.99. The reason is only because she's the display model. I would buy her right now, but I can't. I have to fly back on an airplane. We got a gorgeous George below her. We got a straw man down here. We got Emmeline over here. Wait, who's behind Emmeline? Okay, it's another Emmeline, and right above her we have Reagan, the exorcist, and she's reduced too to 289 because she was a display model. We got the howling spirit over here. We got Bubba on the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have an Evelyn Leach. Holy crap. All right, is she a display? Yeah, she's on sale for 204 because she also was a display model. And then below her, we have a Stilts, AKA Papa Pins, and a Lil Skelly Bones. I see we have some over here. Let's see, we got an Eternal Rest here. Kind of dark in this store, which makes it spookier than usual. We have the sandworm groundbreaker down there. We have some posable skeletons. Two black hearts, icy black hearts. You can only get the icy black heart in Alaska. Scary clown archway inflatable on top of that. And let's look at the inflatables here for a second, guys, because I have not seen the inflatable skeleton in a lot of stores this year. This is one of the only ones. He must have froze to death. <laughs> I haven't seen Frankenstein in very many stores, if any, this year. This might be the first, actually. And the coffin, I don't know if I've seen that in any stores. It's kind of cool that they have him, and they have him inflated up front. I still haven't got the giant 20-foot inflatable snake. They have the 12-foot jumbo, the trio of killer clowns. They have the hearse, which I don't think I've seen in many stores this year. Jack-o'-lantern archway, the fr fright in the box. I almost called him Frank in the box. And they have a couple of the 12-foot Pennywise, which is actually huge. He's enormous. And they have some ghost faces down here which I still have not inflated at home. Actually, I did. I inflated him outside one day for a video for my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween. But the wind was blowing, he kept falling over, and I just didn't mess with putting in the stakes. So I'm gonna film that one again. Don't you think that's a good idea, Creeper? Arr, I do. Arr. <laughs> that may be the corniest thing I've ever done. Arr, yes, it was. <laughs> Hello, rats. Hello, carrot. Look at this, the two best friends forever are actually together without me putting them together. It must be because there's no secret keeping cats here. All right, let's go back over this direction, guys, because there are more animatronics over here, like Mrs. Leatherface here. We have a man's possessed friend, Bubba, here. Was $239, now $169.99. Look at this. They have a The Widow and a Fogging Skull Pile. Oh my gosh, my mouth is frozen from being outside. I can't even talk straight. There's another The Widow. All right, let's keep going over this way, guys. See if we can find any other animatronics on the floor that we've missed or anything else totally sweet. Oh wait, we forgot to look behind the door. All right, let's see if it's the jumping spider. It is! Hello, my icy friend! I love this store, man. Look how dark and spooky it is in here. Like, we just have a few lights on in the ceiling, but it all kind of disperses throughout up there, and everything back here stays dark and spooky. Look at this. We have two packs of the three-pack sidesteppers from Haunted Mansion. Oh my gosh, they have an awesome selection of sidesteppers. Look at this. Okay, first, we have Ghostface over here. And then we have Lydia, we have Pennywise, we have Leatherface, we have Chucky, Billy Butcherson, Frankenstein, and Sam. Here's Pennywise with his icy stare. Ooh, have I seen this before, guys? Slow 
alien invasion area. All right, let's keep moving up here, see if there's any other animatronics that we've missed. Of course, we did miss the pile of jumping spiders. I do not see any other stacks of animatronics up here, although sometimes they're right around this corner. Are there any? No. But let's take a walk through and look at some of these costumes, guys. What do the kids in Alaska dress up as for Halloween? Mom, I want to be a sun that shines all day and night. Oh, what in the heck? I don't think I've ever seen this costume. The Sinister Devil. Away, beast. This guy looks pretty icy. Wait, look at this. Here's another one I've never seen before. It's called the Dark Sea Creature. Look at this. He's green. He's like the creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't think I've ever seen Anubis either. Oh, yes. Look at this. They have a Goosebumps Slappy costume. It includes jacket with attached shirt, pants, half mask, bow tie, and flower. Oh, look at that mask. That is cool. I actually watched some Goosebumps on the plane ride here. Somebody get these children some coats. Dear Lord, please send the orphans some coats. Speaking of Goosebumps, let's go back here to the mask section and see if they have that one Goosebumps mask. Hmm, I don't see it, guys. That must be one that they only put out in a couple of stores. But they do have the evil corn. I don't care if I ever see you again, you evil thing. <gasps> no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He totally went there. Hello, baby head on a stick. Yes, Alaska has the hook head hog, the hook eye guy, and the one ham hock for sale. They also have the chains of death, the brain of death, the heart of death, and the intestines of <laughs> Honestly, guys, they are pretty well stocked up with everything in here. All right, let's spread some stickers around. There's one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Look at this, guys. They have the vintage Wolfman doll. I don't think I've seen him in any stores this season. Creepy Crimson Girl. Empty Soul Girl Swinging Witches. And it is colder than a witch's swingy out here. <laughs> Let's leave a sticker for Grandma. And one for the Hookhead Hog. Somebody was asking where to find Jabber and Jack. I have seen him in most of the stores that I've been to this season. So if you don't find him at one store, go to another. Let's leave one for the Creeping Cats. Let's leave one for Straw Man. Let's make it two. Couple for Leatherface here. Let's give some to the jumping spider. Hello, sir. And we'll leave some for Papa Pins on his spooky brick. One for you, one for you, one for you. Okay, here's two Jason jerseys that are very strange. They're probably not licensed, but this one has the sparkly mask on the front, and the back says Halloween 31. I mean, I get it. Halloween is on the 31st. And then this one on the back also has a big 31, which is just kind of strange. It should be a 13, but okay. Okay, wait a minute. What the heck? This is a trick-or-treat hooded shirt here. I don't think I've ever seen this. A Sam shirt. And the hood has his button eyes on it. I don't think I've seen that at other stores. Let's leave some stickers for Jack and Jack. Ooh, they do have the Leatherface Tiny Terror over here. Let's leave a sticker for him. And one for Sam. Let's leave a couple for the Corpse Bride. Oh my gosh, guys, you gotta love this little plush Zero. I've seen bigger ones. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I probably have. But look at his little pumpkin nose. Look how cute that little pumpkin is. Hello, sir. <laughs> don't you just wish you could have your very own ghostly floating pupster. Let's leave a couple of stickers there for Zero. All right, let's take a look at these plush blankets because guys, if you ever needed a blanket at a Spirit Halloween, it is at this one. Now, have I seen this one before? The black and white Twilight Zone throw? That is pretty cool. And I don't know if I've ever looked at this one, Pumpkin Head. Look at that, oh my gosh. You know what's funny? I'm not even sure if I've ever seen the Pumpkinhead movie, or at least the whole thing. I may have seen parts of it. I'm gonna have to get it. And I'm not a big Ouija board person, but I think this looks really cool. Ooh, look at this, guys. This is something I haven't seen in many stores, unless I just totally overlooked it. The Spirit Halloween Jack the Reaper pillowcase. You get one 
I think it's only one pillowcase in here for $12.99. That is cool. Look at the icy stare on the Bride of Frankenstein. They are pretty well stocked with just about everything, guys. Bobbleheads, lunch boxes over here, these boxes, whatever they really are. These lounge fly backpacks, man, I love these things so much. I think they are so cool how they're like 3D. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, The Corpse Bride, Michael Myers. We got Chucky here, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and one of my all-time favorites out of all of them, SpongeBob. Will we be getting business card? Lots of long sleeve warm jammies for cold nights in the icy tundra that is Fairbanks, Alaska. All right, let's leave some stickers in the bucket. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Let's leave a couple for Michael Myers here. Oh, look at this, guys. This is probably the only store that I have seen the metallic ghost face mask at this season. These appear to be the blue ones, unless they're purple and they only look blue because of the lighting in here. And they have the chrome face and they even have the aged ghost face. So I don't see anything in here that is specifically different because it is Alaska. You know, sometimes different things in different areas are more popular than other areas. You know, the worst part about being out here, guys, I can't buy anything unless it's like a magnet or a sticker or something thin that will fit in my luggage because I do not want to check any bags. <laughs> Plus, I either have to get an Uber or walk back to the hotel. And I am not sharing an Uber with this guy and his nasty breath. Guys, what the heck? It just hit me again that we are in uh, Alaska. We are in Alaska. What the heck? I flew halfway across the country to go to a spirit Halloween in Alaska. This guy's insane. <laughs> I know, right? Shh. Leave him alone, guys. He's my friend. He must not have a brain. He must be a dummy. All right, I can't leave without buying something. But what? Almost has to be like stickers or a magnet. I mean, I really love this sticker here. Hocus Pocus, come we fly. That's pretty awesome. In fact, I just went and saw Hocus Pocus at the theater again the other day, guys, for the 30th anniversary. I love this support Halloween magnet, but I actually already have one of those. Not today, Satan. I think I actually already have that one too. I do like the handbook for the recently deceased. This is a pretty sweet Michael Myers decal too. All right, I think I've settled on this Hocus Pocus decal. I just think this is so cool. I have no idea where I would put it, but it's totally awesome, so I'm going to get it. Whoa, how have I never seen these before? Knife hair clips. They're so shiny. They're like, I think they actually are mirrors. Look, I'm wearing a stab hoodie. All right, guys, back out into the icy tundra of Fairbanks, Alaska. I still just cannot believe that I pulled this off. One last look at the store there. Thank you so much, Fairbanks, Alaska, and Spirit Halloween for making this season so spooky and awesome. Next up, Hawaii. Hawaii.